I'm sure you're all aware of the challenges that we're having in our schools, where some have come to think that the best way to release their frustration is by burning dormitories, failing to recognize that those same dormitories will have to be built by their own parents again. Very shameful, actually. Very, very shameful. But even as we deal with that particular problem, and I promise you it shall be dealt with firmly, but even as we deal with that, we also have to ask ourselves, you know, what, what, what is, you know, at the bottom of this and start to try and deal with some of the challenges. Exam pressure, exam pressure brought upon by parents like some of the ones who are here. You must have an A. If you don't have an A, don't come home. <laughs> Pressures that result in some of our young people going to excesses and then the crooks in our society selling exam papers something that's not going to happen, so now they can't find the exam paper, so panic sets in, new ways of trying to release frustrations. Don't, because you're going to do the exam. And this time, you're going to do it clean. And this is what's gonna happen, yeah? And nothing is going to change. But the reason I'm stating it is that a human being is not made by what grade he or she gets. Let us, yeah, let us allow our children to work hard. Let us encourage them that regardless of what grade you get, the important thing is that you did your best. That is what is important. Because it is not grades that make, like I said, people. It is the character of that person. That is what makes you somebody to be recognized. And like I said, here you are, the majority of you with C and below. We are celebrating the fact that through your training, you have gotten jobs, you are making something out of your life. That is what is important. So as I said, as we shall deal with those who think that the answer is burning, what I do at our moto ni moto, lakini pia, we also, as parents, as teachers, as guardians, must also recognize that we must allow our children to breathe. We must allow them, we shouldn't over-pressurize them, yeah? Because sometimes that pressure is what erupts in some of the things that we see.